Every now and then an issue comes before us which challenges us to think about our history. Whether it's the damp cold of the Magdalen laundries or the sundered silence of mother and baby homes being broken. All of these things are connected by the way we as a country have treated women and particularly pregnant women. Women's health is at risk, women are still in danger, women are still taking the abortion pill illegally. We absolutely have to do something. An investigation is underway into the death of Savita Halapanavar. This government needs to introduce emergency legislation to protect women's lives. And if they don't, we will bring this government down. Repeat me! <laughs> After decades of uncertainty, the process has started that could herald the biggest change ever in Ireland's law on abortion. Our choice! Our choice! This was the most divisive issue in Ireland ever. The answer is just, we'll just get rid of it instead of, what do you need? Suddenly what's being proposed is a completely unrestricted liberal abortion regime. That's the shock factor. Not the church, not the church! Women must decide their fate! can you not see it's Warda? Prepare the egg! Prepare the egg! Whilst we're voting on reproductive health care and abortion rights, it's actually about the value that we're putting on women in Irish society, saying that we do value them, we do trust them. It's only women who are not trusted to make decisions about their own health care. Men aren't asked ridiculous questions. Imagine if you could get this army of women putting that pressure on and to feel empowered. Just for one week to do it. We've waited 35 years and we're going to bring it home.